peer learning provides a, a, sense, a, a sort of meta-learning that transcends the content of the course. And it just so happens I'm, I've got a course where the content directly links to peer learning because leadership is an area where um, um, people uh, learn from one another. The leader learns from the group and the group learns from the leader and that's, there's a dynamic exchange along those lines. The, the, the other piece that I think that comes out of peer learning is the ability to, to, to engage in a learning community is something that happens in virtually any, any employment or organizational setting one's going to find oneself in. And in, in that vein, uh, students will be more comfortable uh, mentoring others because they've been mentored and they know what that feels like. Uh, they'll also be more sophisticated about how to be a more effective protege so that when mentors take them under their wing that they're better at receiving the information they need to receive and they're better at asking for the information they need and and they're also better at developing relationships that is what i enjoyed the most i loved going to lectures but um, the breakout sessions you just you got to know people and as a leader um, in my opinion it's making those networks and i still see those people on campus and i'm interested in what they're doing and you know that networking will help me throughout school and um, just the breakout sessions were great. I loved them. One of the things that came out of the class that I'm quite uh, pleased with is that many of the students in their sign off with their professional signed off and asked, asked their mentor to continue to participate with them during the course of their college career. So that's a very powerful uh, uh, element that I think will transcend the course and, and move forward. Um, the, the other thing is that in organizations, as leaders, you're always involved in, in working with colleagues and both near and far, and, and the interactions with the students had among themselves create an environment that, as I see, they moving forward as alums of Western, they will continue to be connected. Well, what's exciting is that um, our Leadership Club, Western Washington University Leadership Society, was just tasked by the AS Board. What we're hoping to do is kind of leave a legacy behind and create that safe place that I was talking about that I found in the 450 breakout group, creating a safe place for students, whether or not they're in a leadership class, um, to find how they can be leaders in their, in their own lives by having a safe place and practicing that. Um, so what I want to do, my hopes are just to continue that and once I graduate to break out of the university borders and continue doing the same thing for just people throughout the community um, throughout the rest of my life, no matter where I am. Going into it, I thought I was a good leader, but actually getting that hands-on experience like these mentors, like these professionals, I've learned that every leader has areas of growth no matter what. And I've been able to pick those out and pick out areas that I can improve on um, through my hands-on experience, and I don't think you can do that through a lecture. I, don't, I think you can be told something, but until you experience that and experience that problem or experience that area of growth, I don't think it'll become real to you. And, and I've, each week I go teach, each week I go lead this discussion session, I find probably one or two things um, that I can grow on, and I go home and I reflect on those, and I find ways to change those, and I've just found that the process has become easier and easier and I know that I'm growing as a leader and I know that I have a lot more growth to do, but I know that that will also come through more experience. Through the course, the students have been reinforced with the notion that leadership happens in many ways and in many places. Whether it be through the peer leadership experience in the 450 class where, for example, they were asked to engage in activities. Activities is diverse as uh, putting together a tower made out of spaghetti and marshmallows and being able to reflect on that and look at who in their group became a leader and how was it that people relied on that person and what, what were the elements that, that person brought to the table that made them successful. To show and tell activities where they had to share something about their own leadership experience or in discussions where they were uh, encouraged to talk about what they were learning from their professionals. Furthermore, um, with, from the professionals, many of their professionals had comments to them uh, indicating that um, be, you're a leader from, the, from no matter what setting you're in. There was one of the professionals uh, um, had, had a conversation with a student that got relayed on to me 
that talked about leadership is also in the family. So as a parent, you're a leader. As a older brother, older sister, you're a leader. So the students walked away with a very different perspective than they thought earlier in terms of leadership as having responsibility to a group and leadership being something that's accessible at any point in your life in any setting. That's a very powerful learning piece for those students and I think it will encourage them both at Western and beyond to be more mindful about the opportunities that present themselves and how they can contribute and add value to the groups that they're involved with.